Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dr. Corder's Medical Coding Classes. So today I am sharing with you all some tips and tricks to pass CPC exam. Okay. Uh, it will be from my personal experience and also from others who shared with me their experience. Okay. So I will be discussing in this session what to do before 3 weeks how to prepare on the previous day, what all things you have to carry to the exam hall and how to attend, attend all questions. Okay. So I think it will be helpful for all of you for preparing for CPC exam. So watch completely the video. So the first and foremost thing that I have to tell you for the exam preparation point is the time management. Okay. Managing of time is a must for attending a CPC exam and passing it. Okay, so for managing time, you have to keep in mind two, three points. The first one is familiarity with the books. Okay, you have to be very familiar with the books that you're handling. That is mainly the CPT book and also the ICD books and HIPPIX books. Okay, so for that, at least two times you have to completely revise the CPT books before attending the exam, before attending the CPC exam. How much more time you are revising, that quickly you can take the course. Okay, and you will be, you should be thorough with the guidelines that is given in the books and also the modifiers. If it is in CPT, you should be uh, uh, well known with the modifiers and you have to know how to apply which modifiers. Okay. And also, practicing question is equally important as knowing the guidelines. Okay, you know all the all the guidelines, all the theory part, but you don't know how to apply means you can't, you will not be a winner. Okay, you have to know the guidelines and rules to be followed and also you have to know how to apply it into the questions. Okay, practice more and more questions which is provided by your institute or if it is provided by the AAPC. Okay, attend or practice more and more questions. You may, you may get same questions or similar pattern questions. Okay, so what to do three weeks before exam? Start attending the mock test at least three weeks before your exams. Okay, you know our exam is a 5 hours 40 minutes exam. So you have to prepare your mock test also in the same pattern. Okay, three weeks before exam, you should start uh, taking your exam 5 or 40 minute sessions. Initially, it will be difficult for you to sit such long time and to attend the questions. It will be difficult for uh, you but gradually uh, you will be used to it okay you will feel comfortable sitting for the long time and initially you may not be able to complete 150 questions but gradually you will be able to complete you will you will be able to achieve your goal 150 questions so you learned how to manage time and you are thorough with your guidelines and books and uh, you practice mock tests for three weeks and then reach the day before exam what all things you have to notice the day before exam. First point is, if your examination center is in a distant place than your location, go to the location, go to the exam center on the previous day of exam itself. Because you know ours is a long exam, lengthy session exam, 5 or 40 minutes exam. And uh, an early morning travel will be very difficult for you. Okay, so what you have to do is if you are in a distant location means you can go to a nearby nearby place of the exam center on the previous day itself so that you can relax. And also if you are not familiar with the center, exam center means uh, or its route means you can go to the exam center location the previous day and confirm the route and traffic and everything. Okay, so, so that the next day you need not worry about all that. Next thing I have to tell you is don't study any fresh things or new things on the previous day of exam. Okay, it will only make you more, more tensed. Okay, you can just revise the things that you have already learned. If you have any quick notes or po short pocket notes means you can go through that, that. But never try to learn anything new on the previous day of the exam. Okay, so pray well and get an equate sleep with a relaxed mind. So that you want to wake up early in the next day. Next is things to carry to the examination hall. First thing is hall ticket. Okay, which will be given to you, sent to you by your email ID which is registered with the AAPC site. So it will be mailed to you by the AAPC. 
so you have to take a printout of it you can take two copies two copies so that if one get one gets spoiled in some ways means you can use the other one other one okay then the next one is two identity proof two original identity proof it can be your aadhar card your pan card your passport or your some some original driving license like that okay some original it should be original identity proof next you have to carry two pencils eraser rubber sharpener you you know that we used to bubble the answer booklet with the pencils only not pen okay so we can carry two pencils one additional is needed and eraser rubber sharpener such things and the next one is water chocolate snacks etc okay you know it is a 5 hour 40 minutes without break so you can carry water and chocolate or such things to the examination hall so if you feel like you are losing your concentration you can have a chocolate okay or if you feel like you are feeling sleepy you can have a chocolate or small snacks or drink water so there comes the day of exam so the first thing the first point that i have to tell you is be in the exam center on time okay there will be already mentioned in the examination hall ticket that you have to reach in the examination center 30 minutes before the exam scheduled time Okay, so I request you to attend 50 minutes to reach 50 minutes before that time too, so that you can reduce unwanted stress. Okay, so be cool, pray well, and start your examination. The initial procedures will be there: complete all that and start examination. You know our examination, our questions include 150 questions, of which you have to uh, correct 105 questions. 105 questions should be correct. That is. Our pass percentage seventy percentage. Okay, our pass percentage is seventy. Don't leave any questions as blank, as you all know we don't have a negative markings. So your question booklet will be divided into different sections. Okay, CPT, ICD, HIPPICS, anatomy, then HIPAA coding guidelines, medical terminology. In I CPT itself, it will be again divided into chapter wise sections. You know more. more questions is from cpt okay so one thing you have to notice attend all sections okay all sections you have to attend all sections do not leave a complete section okay because each section will be having easy questions medium questions medium level questions and hard level questions but most of the questions will be easy only okay if a section contain 10 questions means almost 7 will be a easy level question only okay one will be one or two will be a medium level question and one or two will be a hard level questions so if you if you leave a complete section means you will also leave that easy questions where you can easily score so what you have to do is first attempt easy questions from all sections okay There are different methods to start your exam. You can either start your exam from front to back, or you can start from back to front, or you can start from the uh, chapters which you are more familiar with. Okay, three ways: either front to back, back to front, or the chapters with you, which you are more familiar with. Okay, so if you are doing front to start means uh, front to back means you can start with the CPT and then the remaining portions. Back to front. Okay, I. usually prefer back to friend method because in back you will be having anatomy questions guidelines hic pics questions medical terminology and all okay these questions and all you can easily do okay you may not spend more time in these sections okay so in short time you will be doing many questions means you will get a confidence okay so i always prefer you to do from back to friend but you can decide Okay. Now the one method is you can start with the chapters which you are more familiar. For example, if you are more familiar and confident in pathology, means you can start with pathology section. Okay. But do one thing: you have to do that in a fast method. Okay. Quickly, quickly, you need to answer that questions. Okay. If you are doing from the back to front and uh, you are thinking too much in the anatomy section, means it will be a complete lost. Okay, so if you are doing from back to friend or familiar questions first means do quickly that questions. Okay, and save more time for the difficult questions. Okay, so start from back to friend or friend to back or familiar sections. And uh, what do you, what you have to do is do all the easy questions fastly, 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 uh, but carefully, carefully only. Okay, and then you will get enough time for the 
medium level or hard level questions. Next one is shading in your booklet. I, I said you, uh, we are using pencil to shade booklet so that if you, if you did anything by mistake means you can erase and shade. Okay. The proper shading in the booklet is a must. Answer booklet. Answer sheet we have to shade properly. Okay. A tick mark or, or a dot is not enough. Complete shading is must. Then at the back side of the question booklet, you may have some rough, rough page works. Okay. Blank pages where you can do your rough works. Okay. Then you know we are, that we are doing with the pencil. So you can uh, underline the important points in the question paper. The keywords. You can always underline the key terms. Okay. It will be helpful for you. Next one is answering a question in elimination method. So what is elimination method? You, you read a question and there is four options. And the first itself, you can eliminate two options from it. Okay. The more inappropriate two answers will be there. Okay. So you can easily eliminate that two answers. And then there will be two options. From that two options, you, uh, you can see which is more specific to the answer question. And uh, you can decide that is the answer. Okay. If you are thorough with modifiers and all means, it will be easy for you to use this elimination method. Okay, applying a different modifier or a option without modifier means you can easily eliminate that one. Okay, and the last point I want to tell you is the presence of mind. Okay, you should have a presence of mind which means your mind and body should be in the exam center. Okay, your body is in the exam center and the, your mind is in the last day's marriage session means it will be a total waste. Okay, so there will be a proper presence of mind should be there okay so if you follow all these tips means i'm sure that you will pass the examination in the first attempt itself so all the very best for your exams if you have any doubt regarding your exam preparation or any chapters means you can ask in the comment section thank you